Hi, I'm Dr. Mustafa. I'm a consultant psychiatrist and I'm the Associate Medical Director for the Trust. I also hold the title of Responsible Clinician under the Mental Health Act, commonly referred to as RC. The RC is a specific person designated by the Act to take the overall responsibility for the care and treatment of a patient while he's looked after under the provisions of the Mental Health Act. So he's a named person, he has this responsibility so that whenever the patient, his relatives or his legal representatives require to speak to someone about their care, there is a clear person to speak to. The responsible clinician is a member of an integral part of a team that looks after the patient called the multidisciplinary team. But in that team, he has the overall responsibility for the care and treatment of the patient when he's under the Mental Health Act. He's also got several specific powers. When the patient starts to become well again and he wants to leave the hospital for periods of time, he grants leave of absence from the ward. He also can discharge the patient at any time from the provisions of the Mental Health Act if the patient is starting to be well enough. At certain conditions, he can also stop that discharge from the Mental Health Act by other authorities or relatives if he feels that that is in the best interest of his patient. Lastly, he can renew the sections if, he, if the time of the section is not enough for, to provide the necessary care and treatment for the patient. And he has certain other powers under another part of the Mental Health Act like Section 3 or the Community Treatment Orders or Section 37 and 41. The RC is required to have an extensive program of training to fulfill his role. Other than his initial qualifications, that would be the normal qualifications for a consultant psychiatrist or a senior consultant uh, from the nursing or social care profession. They're also required to go an intensive training uh, to gain the qualification of the Mental Health Act and the responsible clinician. That training has to be renewed on a periodic basis or else he'll, they lose their qualification. That is not by choice, it is a must. So anyone who takes the RC responsibility has to have that training and he has to prove his competencies to become a responsible clinician, the NHS understand that this is a, a very important role of the clinicians and it's an important role in the patient's journey in the NHS and they usually put the best people who are trained into that role.